back, freshwater fishing novices, new viewers. It's Freshwater Fishing Novice Friday. My name is Moles. I'm the Freshwater Fishing Novice, and this is the Freshwater Fishing Novice YouTube channel. The whole point of the Freshwater Fishing Novice YouTube channel is to help adult anglers as beginners navigate the waters of fishing terminology, new gear, just trying to make it a lot easier to figure out how can you go catch fish. This week we're talking about a problem as soon as you catch a fish, this is gonna be a problem you encounter. So, let's go. So you're out fishing, just, you're casting, you're reeling, now all of a sudden you feel some tension. So you set the hook, right? Oh, sweet. So you're reeling the fish in, you're super excited, yeah, I caught a fish. And as soon as you get into the boat, you realize, oh my God, how do I land this fish? With bass, with, Perch, yellow perch, white perch, black crappie, bluegill, smaller fish with not such aggressive teeth, you can handle with your hands. Brook trout, you can handle with your hands. But what happens if you reel this fish up and it's got some nasty chompers like this guy? Yee, needs an orthodontist. So how do you safely handle this fish without hurting the fish more and also avoiding getting hurt by the fish and those crazy teeth? Let's look at the fish that have teeth in fresh water that you should be aware of, let's say in North America, in the US. So what are a couple fish species as a freshwater fishing novice that you may encounter? Probably the most likely is gonna be a chain pickerel. There's a couple different fish in this familia or family. There's gonna be chain pickerel, which are the smaller ones. There's gonna be pike, and then there's gonna be musky. So all three of these fish are I'm gonna put pictures right here. They're long and skinny, they're slimy, and they have dangerous teeth. That you do not wanna put your thumb anywhere near their mouth. You're definitely not gonna lip this fish, at least not with your thumb. So how the heck do you land a toothy fish like this without injuring yourself or the fish? Well, there's a couple tools. Let's talk about two tools and a hand method you can use if you catch a toothy fish. So the two tools, that you are probably gonna to wanna to use, at least one of these tools is what you're gonna to use to catch this fish with all this crazy teeth in it. Now, if you look around my studio, you can find both these tools. So the first tool you could use, is gonna be a fishing net. You could do, there's a bunch of different types of fishing nets. This one is like a cloth, cloth net, not so awesome. Why? hooks get stuck in it and they're hard to get out. So if you can go, this is a fly fishing net. You can see it's all wooden, fancy. It's got a rubber, like a rubber net. So what that does is protect sensitive fish slime coats. So trout, brook trout, uh, brown trout, any trout, lake trout, um, that's gonna help protect its skin. The other thing you can do with a net is you can net the fish and keep it in the water so it doesn't suffocate and you can get the hook out. So a net's a good option for toothy fish. Now what happens if you don't have a net and you don't wanna carry around something huge like this but you wanna land a toothy fish? Let's look at the next tool. The next tool, it's gonna be a fish grip. So what this is, is just a plastic set of pliers that lock. There's a nice little place to fit the lip of the fish. You catch this fish, it swims up to the boat, you put the fish grips in under its bottom lip, and it locks it in like that. Typically there's a lanyard on this thing, so you can wrap it around your wrist, you can lash it off to your boat, a rock or a stick if you're on bank, and keep that fish in the water so it doesn't swim off. Now the fish is secure, now you can deal with the hook and get the hook out. And when you go to release the fish, you put the fish back in the water, and you just pop those open, and that fish will swim right off. Fish grips, another great investment, and it's gonna save your fingers from getting chewed up well, not by this fish, but by that toothy fish right there, that chain pickerel. Okay, now, let's say you don't wanna go buy a fish grip. You don't wanna bring a fishing net. How do you handle a chain pickerel if, it, if you catch that thing and you don't have a net or fish grips? So you can see the chain pickerel is long and skinny. The way you're gonna grab a chain pickerel, for the chain pickerel, for most freshwater fishing novices, is the fish you're gonna catch. Now you can get some that are pretty big, but you can still grab them. So what you're gonna do is, just below their gill plate, their gills, 
you're going to wet your hand and right behind the gill plate, you're going to grab their head. They're very, very slimy. So you want to make sure your hand's wet and you have a good grip. You're not crushing the fish, but it's going to thrash around, but you want to hold on to that fish. I mean, when you first handle them, you're going to be like, oh my God, make sure you stay away from their mouth and all those teeth. Once you get a hold of it behind that gill plate, behind their gills, and you got their head, their whole back end is going to be moving around. You get that hook out, put it in the water and wait till it decides to swim off. These guys do not shoot off. They're just going to be mellow, a little angry about you. They'll probably look back at you and give a sinister look. Man, hook me, I'm a chain pickerel. They're the punk rock fish of the fishing world. They don't give two Fs. Beware their teeth. If you don't have anything to grab them with, behind that head right here. So the business end ain't gonna get you. All right, freshwater fishing novices, new viewers, subscribers, unique viewers. 80% of my videos have been viewed by people that aren't subscribed. I'm apparently, according to my subscribers, on my way to 1,200 subscribers by the end of 2022. If you guys feel like helping out the Freshwater Fishing Novice YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button, make that bell turn from red to gray, help other beginning and new anglers find my channel, and hopefully learn how to become better anglers and fishermen and fisher ladies. If you guys like this video and it was informative, you guys learned something, how to catch toothy creatures without injuring yourself, go ahead and hit that like button. Let me know that you found some educational information from my video. If you guys have any questions, comments, any questions you guys have, please leave them in the comments below. I love hearing from you guys. It's honestly why I keep making videos. I want you guys to leave me more comments so I know exactly what you guys need, but I want more comments from you guys, you guys and girls, new anglers, asking specific questions, asking any questions about how I can help you become a better angler in 2022. All right, freshwater fishing novices, new viewers, new subscribers. I wanna thank you guys for viewing my video this week. My name is Moles. I'm the freshwater fishing novice. This is the freshwater fishing novice YouTube channel and it's been a freshwater fishing novice Friday. I hope you guys have a great weekend. I'll catch you next week.